trees, almost a million and a half of them. Trails, more than 155 miles. Flowers, shrubs, grass, more than 11,000 acres. That's about 14% of our city's land. Hi, I'm John Reed with Portland Parks and Recreation. I help care for our gorgeous city parks and iconic natural areas. And I've spent decades making sure we can do it responsibly and in a way that cares for the environment. We do that through a system called Integrated Pest Management, or IPM. For over 30 years, we have implemented and refined this modern approach to stewardship. Let's take a look at IPM in practice. Integrated Pest Management means we at Portland Parks and Recreation can reduce the use of pesticides by using other methods in their place. With IPM, we use different progressive and sustainable strategies to minimize risk to our environment and to our health. For example, in our neighborhood parks, we don't use pesticides to treat weeds in our turf grass like this buttercup here. Using a combination of mowing at the right height, proper irrigation, and other creative solutions, we combat weeds in our turf. And all this turf at Washington Park? No need for pesticides here. And for most trees in our parks, like this Alaska cedar, we don't use insecticides or fungicides either. Another IPM solution is preventing the problem in the first place. When you choose disease-resistant and insect-resistant plants, they can thrive without using pesticides. IPM teaches us that in most cases, many pests just aren't that harmful and we don't have to treat them. Our IPM approach gives us an effective way to treat ecologically harmful invasive species, like this ivy. You're probably used to seeing it grow up trees, but did you know that vines can get as large as this massive one here? Imagine the impact of this heavy vine on a growing tree. And although our dedicated volunteers pull ivy by hand, in parks as big as ours, only carefully selected herbicides can effectively address such a big challenge. Here's what a natural area looks like before we start our IPM process. These trees behind me, choked by ivy. And here's what it looks like afterwards. See the difference? Our IPM program is based on sustainability. We want to ensure that future generations will enjoy the same green, healthy experience as we do, thanks to IPM. And our valued conservation partners are supportive of our environmentally responsible approach. Portland's uh, Integrated Pest Management Program, which includes a variety of tools, including, in some cases, use of herbicides and pesticides. Um, they're used very judiciously. Um, there's no way that you can uh, combat English ivy um, Himalayan blackberry and some other invasive species, and I, I speak from experience. It's a very professional, scientific approach. IPM is based on science. Before a pesticide is approved for use, we carefully investigate to make sure it makes sense for our parks. Then it is used minimally and just in the places we need it. Hi, I'm Robin Akers, the horticulturist for Portland Parks and a state licensed pesticide applicator. Before we do anything, we put out a sign to let people know what's going on in parks. This is pretty quick and easy. We apply a small amount of diluted herbicide right on the leaf of the plant. With this targeted approach, we minimize the amount of pesticide we have to apply. Thanks, Robin. Our IPM program has gotten a lot of recognition for its progressive approach. Portland Parks and Recreation is the only park system in the nation to be certified as salmon safe for our environmentally friendly practices. We won the 2011 National Gold Medal for overall excellence in our system. And we work every day taking care of your parks and natural areas. Our IPM program keeps our parks green, healthy, and ready for you to enjoy. Thanks for watching and caring for our parks, trails, and natural areas as much as we do. To learn more, go to portlandparks.org.